I've got this young horse and I'm teaching her to yield her hindquarters for the first time with a steady pressure yield in preparation for riding her. We want to get those really good on the ground before we get on and ride and teach her how to yield those hindquarters. So I'm going to stand back just kind of in line, a little bit further back from her front feet. And I'm just wanting a slight lateral flexion to start with. I'm going to turn my hand up so the palms to the sky. So it's more like simulating your leg when it comes on. I'm not going to go all the way back. Around here, which is where the leg or your heel is going to go when you ask her under saddle. I'm going to get a slight tip of the nose. I'm going to be very aware of my front feet so she doesn't move her front feet and step on my toes. And I'm not super in close to the kick zone. I'm just here because I'm not sure the response that I'm going to get to start with. I have desensitized her and moved her around the round yard. So I, I have had some other exercises first. Turn my hand up, energy up. My energy goes through the hindquarters, tip the nose towards me and push the hind and then I'm going to rub on her. And that was a pretty nice yield. We have done some uh, steady pressure yields from the nose in preparation for this. So she's starting to understand to get that positive response to the yield. I don't want her leaning on it and I don't want her overreacting and getting sensitive to it. So first I'm just going to soften her nose, not a full on lateral flexion now. She's starting to associate moving her feet around. So I'm just going to keep rubbing with the nose pressure. So I'm just going to wait and rub. Good. So I just kept, I didn't try and stop her from moving her feet. She just thought, ha, huh, slight flexion of the nose, move the hind quarter. So I just wait on that. So now I'm going to flex the nose a little bit. That's enough. Put my hand on, energy up, press, arc for the ear. Good. And then just rub. So there I got a reaction. She took an extra three or four steps. So I'll ask again, tip the nose, arc for the yield and rub. Again, I got a reaction. So I'm going to tip the nose, arc for the yield there and rub. That was better. So good girl. And then we get a lick in the chew. So I'll just keep working on that. And that's all I would do on that side. I would go to the other side and then I'd move a feet or do something else. And then I'm going to come back to that um, in the same session and keep, keep waiting until I get a more positive response. And I don't want her to yield, the, uh, ignoring um, the yield, and I don't want her to overreact and keep going. So I'm going to rub on her if she does too much. And then if she ignores me, all as I would do, she's pretty sensitive, this filly. So if she was ignoring me, I'd put my hand on and then... If she was leaning into it or ignoring me, I would tap with my other, like with the same hand. I'd put some rhythmic energy there to back it up and then go back and press when she's just about to yield until she starts to go, ah, yield away from the pressure. But I had a feeling she was going to react because she's a sensitive type of filly. Hope that helps.